Hello everyone, you're tuned in to the MT Bucket on WRPBI TV. Tonight in our studio I have two very special guests. I have Mike and Nate. Hello. And they are humanitarians that really believe that service to humanity is the best work of life. They made a plan, they took action, and they found success. They've, I guess, crisscrossed the United States twice for twice. Uh, Worthy Charities, uh, Wounded Warriors Project, and the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, and they're here to tell us a little bit about their uh, endeavors and uh, what they found along the way while they were biking across America. And uh, we'll start with uh, with Mike. He's in one of his uh, <laughs> uniforms here. You know what? I can't see that well, and I I can't breathe that well. So I'm just going to take the mask off. If that's <sighs> that's fine. Okay. We we want to we want to see him. Oh, almost. <laughs> Almost. Okay, He's good. A couple of, a couple oh, of one, more. Okay. <laughs> These uh, are some of the uh, uniforms that uh, I guess you wore on the uh, on the ride, uh, and I noticed this one's uh, got the Sinorama. Is it? Uh, yeah, Sinorama. That's right. And it, uh, some sponsors that uh, help with the ride. Tell us a little bit about how the, the rides came about. Well, logistically, we were planning a bike trip for about three to four months. We figured out the route, where we were staying, and what we were eating every single day. Um, and the reason why we wore the suits was to exchange, sort of barter, free beds and free meals for advertising space on the suits. In essence, we're biking billboards, mm -hmm. is what we do. Excellent, and that's, and that's a great thing, you know, using your, your talent, taking a passion, putting it into action, finding success. I know you uh, were telling me some of the stories, uh, some fun ones, some not some fun ones, some real positive things that, that occurred. What were some of the highlights uh, for you, Nate, while you were uh, on the trip? The, well, I'd say each day is a, is a different journey. You never, you never experience the same sights and sounds. Every day is a different journey. Um, we had opportunities where we would come across things like a shoe tree in the Mojave Desert where uh, hundreds of travelers threw their shoes into a tree and it was just a, a tree of shoes, random <laughs> shoes. We, we swam with manatees at the end of our ride in Cape Canaveral on our first trip, which was just uh, an amazing thing. We enjoyed uh, the courtesy and, of volunteer firefighters and firefighters alike that opened their, their firehouse to us and just treated us as respectful men, you know, and fed us you know, took care of us, you know, rolled out the red carpet as best as they could. And it's, it's, honestly, it's the generosity of humanity that is still alive. You know, you listen to the media and it's, you know, you feel broken inside or you feel like the world is collapsing in. But when you do something altruistic for uh, an organization, other people are willing to open up their houses and their kitchens to take care of you. And it's truly amazing that uh, we, you guys proved that service to humanity is the best work of life. And we were uh, joking around outside pre-show, and uh, if Nate can show your shirt, it's the Bike for Booby shirt. And uh, I believe that some of these shirts are still available, uh, and uh, Mike will tell you how somebody can uh, get those and make donations uh, to help those affected by breast cancer. Uh, Mike's just showing off all the different uniforms, all the different sponsors. You see all the different people that got involved here. Uh, amazing, Jersey Mike's, uh, the Mobile Help, uh, the Weston. Tell us a little bit about the corporate sponsorships and uh, how people can buy the shirts. So if you were to go to bikingforboobies.com, the very first thing you'll see is a picture of Nate and I where you can click on, pick up a t-shirt, proceeds go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. In essence, what we're trying to do is raise money for charity uh, through being really unique and out there. That's why we, we wore the suits every single day. Every single mile we cycled, we were in a full body spandex suit. We didn't wear the mask, right. but we yeah. were always representing companies uh, that we got into contact with in our planning period and printed just, you, it goes all the way down to my feet. We were able to get 62 different corporate sponsors. We were able to raise $13,000 together for the Wounded Warrior Project and the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And what we would do is we would, uh, we would be mobile marketers, cyclists, yep. logo liaisons. <laughs> we would love to, um, here actually, ah, there you go, this is my American flag suit. 
And if I were to shed one more, I can rep one of my favorite local sponsors, Jersey Mike Subs. <laughs> All right. That's well, it. Now that if, you're from, is over. if you're from Jersey Mike's and you're watching the Anything Bucket, oh, I can use good. a few sandwiches during the week as well. And uh, we want to thank Jersey Mike Subs and all of the sponsors that uh, helped uh, both Mike and Nate thank you. Um, with this uh, awesome achievement. It's, it's amazing. You know, we, we see so many things out there, the bad, and here you guys are doing the good and really getting it out there and uh, making things happen. Uh, do you have any other uh, projects planned in the works? I know you cycle almost every weekend now. Do you tie in a charity to the different uh, cycling, or is it strictly Wounded Warriors and uh, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation? Those are two pretty big charities, right. two pretty big areas that always uh, need some attention. We feel, Nate and I, that the biggest casualty is being forgotten. Right. And that's why we're still raising money for the Wounded Warrior Project. And we also feel that uh, the Biking for Boobies ride is, is still alive. We're still uh, representing Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And this October, we'll still be riding for them and, and continuing our progress to raise money for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation through uh, you know biking the miles around town and through selling the t-shirts that are available. Um, it, it not only says Biking for Boobies, but it also, if you look on the back, it has our, our slogan, which is, Show your support, brah! So, um, everything is available and it all goes to a good cause. Both, uh, Mike and I are, uh, we're not planning a new ride, but we're planning local events and local things to do around town since we're both, you know, we're building some roots here in the community and establishing some uh, avenues to go through this, through the Biking for Boobies route and through other charities in this area. Boca Helping Hands is a good one. Yeah, we're, we focus on bike riding and biking billboards. But truly, if you're trying to tether your company to a great charity and you want to use our means of mobile marketing, go ahead and get into contact with us and we could run 5Ks for you. Heck, we could walk around Town Center Mall in your apparel as long as you promise to donate to a certain charity for that time being. We like to be seen. And first, you got to go green to be seen. So if you want to be on our suits, go ahead and get into contact with us through bikingforboobies.com. We would love to uh, drive money towards a worthy charity in the area for you. And if you have an event that you want to accomplish personally in your life, something on your bucket list, you know, first and foremost, don't let your past get in your way because both Mike and I have our, our hurdles that we've overcome. Mike's been in a rollover car accident. I've been hit by a car. I was born crippled. I've been, right before this trip, I had a groin hernia surgery. Like, none of that matters. He you know? hit himself in the face with a moving chainsaw. Exactly. That did happen. A chainsaw bit me in my nose. So, if you can understand that you will have obstacles in your way, but you have to overcome those obstacles and say, listen, I'm not going to let my past affect me. I'm going to first plan out the trip, and that way the trip is easier and not so overwhelming. Mike and I, for both our trips, spent anywhere from three to five months planning the logistics out so that when we stepped on the bike, we were both comfortable with nothing overhanging. Yeah, and that's, it's an amazing message that you give there, Nate. And it's you know one of those things where we get so tied up in the fear factors. Right. You know, it's, and I tell everybody, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase because we can't say the word that I want to use on air, but we either forget everything and run or we face everything and rise. And here's two gentlemen, they faced it and they rose above. And look at who benefits, the Wounded Warrior Project, Breast Cancer Foundation, it shows that people can make a difference. And that's what we're here to tell you about tonight is make that difference. You know, they say a journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. Right. And you know, the, the bike ride starts with the first wheel turning. That's right. You definitely have those wheels turning. Uh, Mike, if you can give the uh, audience a little insight into your motivation, we know what Nate's motivation was in his message, but if you can give the uh, audience a positive message. Let me give you some insight. <laughs> if you have a dream, go ahead and work towards it. Uh, Nate and I had this idea over a Bible study about three years ago, and it sounded good. It sounded very romantic to bike across America. Ooh, I could take off from work and go on a cycling trip. But there needs to be a solid foundation. Right. Nate and I put our time and effort into figuring out where we were sleeping and eating, and we actually cut our costs down to around $200 <laughs> per cyclist per trip. Over 55 days, we only spent $200. Granted, 
It was purely on the generosity of fellow Americans along the way, but we were able to make our dreams come true. Right. Truly, this was incredible. The first year from Key West to Toronto for the Wounded Warrior Project was a miracle. Uh, the, the very first couple of days we went from Key West to Miami, and we're on two-lane highways, no bike path, no guardrail. You're going to sleep with the crabs in the, in the keys if you get hit. Uh, what I'm trying to say is if you have something in your mind, mm -hmm. put it down on paper right. and go towards it. Network with someone. Uh, if it wasn't for Nate, I wouldn't have been able to make it through either one of the trips. And if it wasn't for Mike having a friend, I wouldn't have been able to do it as well. It's, people do things by themselves all the time, but it's easier to share the burden when it comes to an adventure for two reasons. One, you have an experience with a friend that you both can rely, you know, share for the rest of your lives instead of just remaining inside your own head. And two, you guys share the burden of responsibility when it comes to the, the small daily task of accomplishing something so great. Mike handled like clothing and washing. I handled medicine and nutrition <laughs> and, and making sure both of our bodies are up to par. Mike stepped on a rusty nail at one point in our first trip. He had to get a tetanus shot. And, and I carried his luggage for the next few days because that's what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to bear, or bear the burden of your, of your partner, your cyclist, your friend, your best friend, or whoever it might be. And so that, that's a great message and it leaves us to uh, wrap everything up with a, uh, a very fitting poem by Langston Hughes. It says, hold fast your dreams, for if they die, they become broken wing birds that cannot fly. Hold fast your dreams, for if you let them go, they become barren fields filled with snow. Ladies and gentlemen, hold fast your dreams. Take the lead from Mike and Nate, and just go for it. Live your life, love your life, be blessed, and stay positive.